Now, when time is almost over, burp, how dare you get out of here? <gasps> All right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little bouncing banger. I know what that sounds like, I know, but it's it's literally a bouncing banger because we're checking out Bouncer Story. Now, this here plays out like a more, I guess, um, casual version of Not Tonight. And I think more along the lines of, you know that game that we played a while back that was a bouncer story? Out of the box, yeah. It plays more along the lines of out of the box, which is a story. Apparently, we were just a regular bouncer, and then we get hustled into the world of the mafia. Come on, go over here. Okay, so let's get to it. So this is our character we have to name. As much as I would love to, you know, name him the old Falcon 69 after yours truly. Look at this dude and tell me that's not Debo. So we're coming up to our first day here on the job, just regular days. Everything's all fine and dandy. Sketchy ass dude rolling up on us here. Oh, my name is Tony Vito. Welcome to work in my bar. Uh, what should I do or nice to meet you? <laughs> I'm a bouncer. It's fairly simple what I should be doing. Kicking ass and letting the right people in. Don't let any drunk get customers in. <laughs> I'll try. I'll do my best. Work well, and come play some blackjack after your shift. How come? Should I? I uh, probably shouldn't be saying no to the boss, so yeah, how come? Okay, so, you, it seemed you guys already drunk, or did you, could you let me in? This guy seems okay, swipe right. Okay, so there was a little beer icon because they were coming over. So, let in? Yes. I love how go. Get out. Is there any room? How you doing there, mom? You come inside. Everything seems fine. Get out of my way. Okay, you get out of here. I'm going to have supper time. Okay. I mean, we don't really serve the best food here in this dingy bar, but go right ahead. Then we have a bar mood to keep our eyes on how much we're earning as well. We have timers. This guy seems fairly good. You seem fairly good as well. I like this place. I like you spending in here. Hopefully getting in soon. Yeah, get inside. Now, when time is almost over, burp. How dare you get out of here? <gasps> Why is this woman throwing that with me? Just let me in. I guess you look fine. <laughs> what, what, what happened with that woman? She she went toe to toe with Devo. Again, this is what I mentioned about the closed bar. So depending on how many people you have in the bar, it's going to take them a while to filter out. And if you come to the end of the day, which is down here, and there's still people inside, you get penalized. Your money gets penalized for the day. It's really weird, you know? Why Why would you penalize me for giving you business? But apparently that's how the game's mechanics gonna work out. So, because of that, it's time to close, which means everybody inside, start filtering out, please. After your shift, you went to play blackjack with the bar owner. As you wake up in the morning, your head hurts and your memories are dim. You have a bad feeling that you might have lost some money. Anyways, it's time to get to work. All right. What does that mean for us? I'm here to collect your gambling debt to Mafia. Did you say Mafia? 10,000 in total. Are you for real? Yo, dog, why is everybody beating me up? You should know your limits with gambling. Alright, alright, I'll get the money, dude. Just don't beat me up anymore. I'm expecting regular payments. You made your point. Well, um, we owe money to the mob. Good. We got hustled by the owner, apparently. Homeboy's rolling up here. Our, all your base are belong to us. Get your ass out of here. I don't need to hear your tired ass memes. You know why? Because I am the purveyor of tired ass memes. So I do enough memeing for all of us here with the tired old ones. All right. Go for it. We got apparently some bonus. My friend should be there. In you go. I'm gonna have supper time. You go ahead and have supper time, buddy. Can you feel it? No, but I can smell it. It's you. You should have probably showered before you came into the bar, you degenerate. Let me in. I mean, in my time we said please, but hey, just let me in. No please, no nothing. Bar mood keeps going up. That's good. Hit our bonus there, hopefully. Nope. Not enough time. 
here I am. <laughs> Rock me like a hurricane. So time's running out, I know, but we owe a lot, a lot of money now. Bar mode. Oh, it almost went there. I'm going to start closing up pretty soon because otherwise we'll get penalized, but I was hoping to hit the bar mood bonus. I'm going to let that woman in. Ah, we hit the bar mode bonus. Everybody out. Get out. Filter out. Don't make me come in there and shush you out myself and then you beat me up in response. We got everybody out in time and we got the bonus, so... Oh, we got us some HP back as well. I was wondering how we go about doing that. Balancer leveled up. Okay. So... We have to pay rent. Pay on Sunday 100. Salary and bonus in total. <laughs> Mafia loan 10,000. Oof. Here you can upgrade your traits. Upgrading intelligence is a smart choice in the beginning. I mean, wait, you, you calling Debo dumb? Is that what you do? Is that what you're trying to tell me, my friend? Debo is dumb? Why intelligence? Intelligence without ambition is a bird without wings. Salvador Dali. Alright. Busting out the intellectual speak on us now, huh? Upgrading intelligence opens up new abilities for the bouncer. First upgrade, tap to invite people to the queue. Ask papers from customers, no favorite customers. So, right now it's been very easy. This is going to eventually evolve like Not Tonight and Papers Please, where we start having to start checking documents. Like, we haven't done that right now because it's an early game, obviously. But eventually we'll start having to worry about, you know, people under 21, fake IDs, etc, etc. Um... We got 349 right now, right? I would like to just heal myself up a little teeny tiny bit. And sure, I'll get your intelligence. Why, why did I make my HP drop? You can go to your home for upgrades. Bars to work and Mafia's hideout for pain to depth and playing some blackjack. Oh, yeah. I mean, gambling got me into the problem to begin with. How about we just gamble some more? <laughs> That's the answer. What's with this bird? You participated in a weightlifting competition at the local gym. You came third and received 15 bucks as a prize. All right. I mean, it's 15 bucks, right? So let's uh, see what's on the news. Pain debt to the Mafia. You have a huge gambling debt to Mafia Tony, Mafia boss Tony Vito. Which you need to pay back in five months. You can go visit the Mafia directly from the map and pay... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, we don't got enough money for that, so... Let's go over to 12 Blues. Easygoing blue, Blues Bar with easygoing customers. Try to figure out which customers bring the best mood to this bar and you will make money. Ah, so that changes, huh? Basic wage 20, age limit is 18, capacity 15, and work shift hours 4. So there's only like one of many different places we'll unlock, obviously, and travel about. You have increased your intelligence and learned how to invite customers to the bar by tapping them. <laughs> Mama, you don't want Debo tapping you. Do you need good jokes? Yeah, your face. <laughs> Yo, where are you? Get out of here. You drunkard. Get out of here. How absolutely dare you. I'm over here, Mama. I'm excited. Good. Oh, okay. So Mama there drops the bar mood quite a bit. Don't let her in. Just let me in, okay? What about homeboy? Homeboy's a good race, so I'm not sure if homeboy matters depending on the color of the shirt. No, just homeboy in general. Do we have enough time to let more people in? We got nine people in there right now, so it's gonna take a while. Is it crowded inside? I'm gonna let you out because you're the one who lower everything. No, we gotta close, we gotta close, we gotta close. Everybody out. Get out of here. We didn't hit the bar mood bone. Actually, no, we did early, right? I wonder if still gonna credit me for hitting it early and not have it by the end of the day. Well, so far we haven't unlocked any more. But, um, it seems we're almost about to level up this bar. Oh, here comes this boy about to shake me down. 110? That's most of my money! I guess if I don't pay, I get hurt, but I get to keep the money. Fine. Pay. You'll be seeing me. Looking good, dude. Hey, appreciate it. In you go. I think you're good mood? Oh, bad mood this time! Why bad mood this time? Oh, bad mood again. Mama, maybe you're good mood now? I want to dunk now. Look at that. I want to dunk now, she says. What's up? In you go. Get out of here. Bar move went up now, so maybe it changes per day? Who knows? Oh, check this out. The most successful bouncers are maximizing the bar mood by letting in as many men and women, which I've been trying to focus on. Closing the bar with mood bonus makes the leaving customers give gratuity as well. Hmm. Maybe if we have that mood thing towards the end and we see it and we have the option to close, maybe take it. What's happening over here seems like a fight. Lucky event. There was uh there's been a miscalculation at your bank. They apologize sincerely and you received 20 bucks. That was the bank right there? Alright. You say so. 12 blues. This should level up this um well to our next level. We'll see what happens. How you doing, mama? Hi, let me in? Sure. Let's see what you can do to my mood though. 
Rose it up. Oh no, we had the mood there for a moment. Can you can you raise it just so I can close it at that time? Yes, close it. <laughs> we have a lot of people in there. That's fine. So yeah, see, we are getting a gratuity from a couple of them. It's not too much. It's like a couple of dollars here and there. We almost had that bar almost filled up as well. We're up to 3.30. Very good. Um, Let's do Charisma, we said, was the next one. Gratuity. Well, I mean, we got a... Uh, every upgrade in Charisma unlocks a new bar. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. So we'll do that. Burn. There it is. Paying weekly rent. Weekly rent is paid on each Sunday. Rent will be automatically deduced from your daily paycheck. And if you're unable to pay the rent for consecutive weeks, you might end up living in the streets. Some events might affect the amount of rent. Oh. Well, is this going to be a lucky event again? Lost and found. Bartender from the 12 Blues Bar asks you to dump all the lost and found items in the garbage bin. You check the items and found 20 bucks. <laughs> well, I, I guess... Um, uh, lost and found items. Yeah, I guess they were going to the trash anyway. It's not like it belonged to anybody, right? Like, if it was like, say, you're helping your friend move, and, you know, he's just like, you you find like, say, like a piece of furniture, like a small little box or something, whatever. Just just follow me along for the story. And he's just like, yeah, I don't want that. You can have it if you want to. And you take it home with you, and you open it, and you find like money in there. You, you kind of probably feel, I mean, unless you're a scumbag, or if you believe really so much in Finders Keepers, you'll probably be like, oh, it's money that belongs to my friend, even though he gave me the item, you'll probably give it back. But if it's a lost and found item from just a store that's gonna just throw it out anyway, I guess then it's probably less scummy to keep it, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I would say you're good then. Then you really can say finders keepers. But if it's like a friend, you know, that still technically belongs to them, right? Maybe? Not. Irish pub. Basic wage 30, age limit 20, capacity 20, work shift 4.5. Let's see if we get a- ooh, check it out. Let's see if we could um, start messing with IDs now, or how's gonna switch it up here based on this. We got new um, new patrons as well, which is good. Being tired of seeing the same old mugs over and over. Come here, line, dude. You guys gonna speed it up a little bit or what? Let me in. Sure. I'm feeling lucky. Well, you better feel lucky. He's got the luck of the Irish pal as you come in there. Nice to see you again. Never met you once in my life. Homeboy must be already drunk. Greetings, buddy. In you go. What are you saying? I'm saying you need to get out of here because you're drunk as hell, baby. What about you? I'm excited? Good. Spread that excitement inside and get my bar mood up. That's, that's what I want to see. Oh, you are the rats over there. Is it crowded inside? Let in. You guys might want to buy some food if you've seen all these rats out there. I'm just saying. Stick to the beer. Let me in. I want in. Nope. Who's this dude? Who the hell is that guy? Inspector visit. Inspection cleared. No flaw spotted. Oh. Well, I mean, you showed up early because I haven't been introduced to the IDs yet. I imagine we have to check IDs at some point if they're telling me that there's certain age limits. Otherwise, how would you tell about the age limits just by random characters here? Howdy. In you go. How's it going? Going good, Mom. Can you come inside? What about you? What do you got? Hopefully getting in soon? Yep, there's nobody else in line, so you're good. Just don't drop my bar mood, though. Oh, close. Greetings, buddy. Yo, let me get that bar mood bonus, though. I think you're drunk. Get out of here. Oh, we're just, we're just one away or something. You're looking cool as casual, thank you. Could you let me in? Maybe, maybe. Oh, hurry up. Save it, save it for me. <gasps> That's not enough. We got it close. Damn it. We were so close. So close. Oh, we might not make it out. Hey, get out. Get out of there. Oh, come on. You saw the penalty. There was one dude about to step out. And we still got dinged. Salty about that one. Different people like different bars. Different people will affect the bar mood in different ways. Each bar has some favorite customers. Find out who are the favorite ones to boost the mood. All right, let's try that again. Oh, here comes homeboy. I mean, I got enough money, thankfully. Yeah, yeah, taken. Good boy. I'm not a dog. Bugger off, you jerk. All right, come in here. I need to see. I mean, maybe it's, it's a, it has to do with who, who is in there, maybe, but I, I just don't see it being the case, because... See, that one dropped it. This guy's drunk, so forget him. I can't imagine that guy's in a good frame of mind to show up in front of the line of go to the bar and just apparently be sleeping. Maybe it's narcoleptic. Am I discriminating as an narcoleptic? Not really, but I'm just saying. It's probably not wise for you to show up in a bar if you're asleep. People might shake you down, take advantage of you, because you let me in. Sure. Get out of here with that meme. Hey, both of you come over here. I need to figure out this, um, 
algorithm of Bouncer's story. You're drunk. Inside. I mean, I'm not even gonna get enough people right now to even fill up the bar mood. Our bar is bare bones at the moment. Let me in, please. Yo, there's a, there's a homeless man here. Hey, he's getting in line. Get out of here, you're drunk. I'm feeling thirsty. Go and buy. Hello, could you help me? Uh, what do you need? A few coins would be nice. You have two bucks? Sure. Thank you very much, young man. Bye-bye. Super classmate inside you go. I wonder what that's gonna lead to eventually. My friend should be there, alright? Super classmate, uh, get out of here. Yeah, you're drunk as well. Quiz nights at Irish Pub. Irish Pub has started organizing quiz night on Tuesdays and Thursday. Today's Wednesday. It seems that these weekdays have been especially quiet at the local pub and they hope to boost their sales by attracting more customers. That surely seems kind of fun. Like... I mean, you'd probably have to have like a quainter bar in order to pull that off because you'd, you'd have to have like regulars or something. It'd just kind of be weird if you show up there and you're like brand new and you're like, Hey! Join the quiz! And you're like, yo, dude, I'm just... I don't know what you guys are up to. I'm just, just here for a beer. Okay, so today is Thursday, so we could try out this pub thing and see if it maybe ups the amount of people here. But we also apparently have a police investigating a murder. Police have confirmed investigations of a suspected murder case. Body of a male victim was found yesterday. Eyewitnesses have reported that the playing cards were found on top of the body. The cards were positioned in the same way as in a blackjack table. The shocked eyewitness commented. Huh. We have like the Joker out there or what? Competition. You participate in a weightlifting competition. We got 50 bucks. Nice. Oh, yo, yo, hold up. That should mean that I can get charisma. Confirm it. So Karaoke Star is now opened up. But again, it's Thursday, so I want to see how this Irish pop thing plays out on a Thursday. Oh, Homeless Man is back. Here I am. Rock me like a hurricane. Nice weather. Get inside. Nice weather. You're drunk. Super classmate. Inside you go. I'm seeing a lot more traffic out here. You're drunk. Can you ask for a favor? I imagine what you need, but could you let me in the Irish pub tomorrow? Why would you want in? Just for nostalgia reasons. Sure, I'll let you in. See you tomorrow at Irish pub. See you. Yo, we have a little side quest happening here for real. This is the uh, the Georgie of um, Bouncy Story. Nice shirt, thank you. Yo, we're getting a lot more people. You're looking cool as usual, thank you. What's up? Everything good in there, Inspector? Bar leveled up? Just let me in, okay? I mean... It's kind of rude of you, but sure. Oh, bar mode, come on. Come on. Oh, we're so close. Come on. Nobody ruin it for me. You're gonna ruin it with your freaking meme. Don't ruin it. Oh, we're so close. Hurry up. You're drunk. Nice shirt. Don't ruin it, dog, please. Please, I beg you. Don't do it. Ah, oh, we got close. Still too many people and times left. Ah, oh, we're so close. Yeah, definitely a lot more traffic here in, uh... Quiz night. Alright. Well, unfortunately we're out of time, so I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. This has been Bounce the Story. Information down below. If you'd like to see a bit more, let me know. I don't mind coming back. I'm curious about where the beggar thing is going. We apparently now have a murder side story as well. So surprisingly, as basic as the game is, very casual-like, there's uh, interesting little things happening around. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.